Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Matthias Gelber reporting to you today from the High Performance Green Building event in Malaysia. Uh, it happened today on the uh, 12th of October. And uh, we've been looking at how we can make the construction industry and buildings more sustainable, more environmentally friendly. Uh, I want to use this opportunity to give you an insight into the work that we are doing as a company, Maleki GmbH, uh, a company two and a half years old based in Osnabrück in Germany. Uh, I'm a co-founder of this uh, company. I'm an environmentalist and at the same time uh, I do business. And our intention is to turn the world's waste mountains, in particular fly ash, blast furnace slag and some other natural materials that can be used in cement and in building materials into useful products. One of the issues is that uh, the building materials that we are using have usually a very high carbon footprint. Concrete, one of the main components is cement. If you make cement, you turn one ton of limestone into 600 kilo of cement powder. The rest is CO2 emissions into the air. Limestone is calcium carbonate. So in average, on a global scale, one ton of cement production uh, triggers off one ton of carbon dioxide emissions. In Europe, it's much more efficient. We have about 0.7 uh, 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 tons of uh, CO2 for one ton of uh, uh, cement manufacturing, but this depends on where in the world it's being produced. And in average, uh, uh, figures vary, but uh, some people argue it's 5% of the world's CO2 emissions, other people argue it's 7% of the world's CO2 emissions, but it's a huge aspect of green buildings. So we are trying to replace uh, uh, a high content of uh, Portland cement with low carbon footprint secondary raw materials. Uh, I'll show you some of the products that we have actually created and uh, this is one of our products called two component flexible waterproofing. It's fly ash waterproofing. The only thing you have to do is mix the same amount of fly ash or a little bit more depending on the consistency of the product that you want and you have a very beautiful, very nice workability flexible waterproofing. You remember the torch based, bitumen based waterproofing where you have to bond it Usually you get problems after some years with the bonding area or it's not necessarily totally UV resistant. So this is a very, very high performance alternative to conventional waterproofings and it's flexible in case you get any cracks, uh, it will still bridge those cracks. So we've created in this polymer a binder system that allows you to use different types of fly ash. It's been even tested with volcanic ash in Japan and it's worked very well. I'll show you one product that has been made from this. This is a Japanese recycled composite board and in between the material with the fly ash has been used to bond it and at the same time to provide waterproofing. If you look here, this is an example of the very uh, smooth, flexible, very nice uh, uh, crack bridging, flexible waterproofing. This is another example of it. Here we applied a very thick layer. Normally you would get cracks with such a thick layer. Uh, that's another benefit of our material that it's very crack resistant at the same time. One other product that we have is self-leveling industrial flooring. This is a very high performance abrasion resistant and chemical resistant flooring system. It's even uh, good enough to replace epoxy. We have created it in such a way that its abrasion and chemical resistance is as good or better than epoxy. At the same time, you don't have all of the health and safety issues. We've reduced the cement content to a minimum in this product, so you have a very low carbon footprint material. You apply it, it's self-leveling, we have virtually no shrinkage, and uh, that's why it's easy to make large area spaces. You don't need protective equipment, and five hours later, the material is fully cured. So if you have a Sunday afternoon where you apply the material, Monday morning you can use the flooring space so you have very, very little downtime. This is our render, our plaster for house walls. Again, very high content of recycled materials. We built the color into the material. It even has insulation properties because we have lightweight filling material in there. And because of the density of our binder system, the insulation properties are excellent. One thing we are doing as well is we produce 
low carbon footprint concrete with partners. And sometimes you think that the problem of uh, slag and fly ash concrete is the compressive strength after seven days. This is usually the case that seven day compressive strength is lower. Here, this piece, we did this a couple of weeks ago in our lab. After seven days, we did the compressive strength test and this one only uh, cracked at 130 Newton per square millimeter. And you can even see if you come very close that usually the aggregates are sticking out. But here they broke in the middle because of the huge compressive strength that this amount of concrete built up after seven days. One other product that we have developed is total protective coating, a material that is waterproofing and extreme chemical resistance protective coating at the same time. We've done independent tests from the University of Kassel in Germany that's done chemical resistance testing according to epoxy standards and this withstands extreme acids, extreme alkalides, organic solvents and very very high temperature. It even sticks on steel so we have created this product as an alternative to all sorts of different coatings that are being used in oil and gas, marine and other industries to achieve chemical resistancy, abrasion resistancy, uh, temperature resistancy and so on. Another product that I don't have here with me is Long Life for Concrete. It's a sealant for concrete surfaces. If your surface is very dusty, if your surface needs to have enhanced chemical resistance, uh, abrasion resistance, this is the perfect product for normal concrete surfaces, floors to make them much more longer lasting and much easier to clean. The company was founded by Hussein Maleki and myself. Hussein Maleki has a, a, a very long-term reputation in Germany as the leading dry mortar formulator who has already started 15 years ago when he was working under the famous Professor Knöfel of the University of Siegen. He started using fly ash from a waste incinerator as a cementitious material. So he gained loads and loads of experience over the last 15 years how to create alternative low carbon footprint high performance binder systems. This is the essence of our philosophy as a company. We have a triple benefit. We make our products green, lower the carbon footprint. At the same time, we have high performance products increased chemical and salt water resistance, no efflorescence because we don't have free calcium hydroxide. Uh, we have avoided cracking problems for certain applications because we have virtually no heat of hydration, no shrinkage. Uh, that avoids us having the usual cracking problems in floors and other applications. So we have increased performance. Usually you expect, you expect from green products that they have lower performance. You know, you recycle some plastic, you make a low performance plastic bench. But in our case, we are upcycling low value waste materials to high performance, high value building materials products. And thirdly, we provide you with value for money. We are looking at the long term performance. We are looking at what performance you get for your money. So we've created cost effective products at the same time. Number one, green. Number two, high performance. Number three, value for money. That is the Maleki philosophy. We invite you to check out our website www.malekigmbh.com.